गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर मैथ्स क्लास नाउ इन द लास्ट क्लास आई हेड गिवन यू वर्क फ्रॉम पेज नंबर हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी टू ओके सम ऑफ यू हैव स्टिल डन सम मिस्टेक्स ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वॉन्ट टू सै दैट प्लीज रीड अगेन द टॉपिक्स दैट हैव दैट आर गिवन इन वन ट्वेंटी वन रिलेटेड टू क्वार्टर पास्ट वॉट इज क्वार्टर पास्ट ओके इन अ क्लॉक वॉट इज हाफ पास्ट इन अ क्लॉक एंड वॉट इज क्वार्टर टू in a clock please read these things again some of you are still confused with these things okay and uh, i'll be sending you answers for the previous work okay because uh, i can see that some of you have uh, done mistakes uh, regarding the work that i had given you and uh, right now <coughs> uh, for today we'll be learning a new topic okay that is seconds seconds is another unit used to measure time it is shorter than a minute there are 60 seconds in 1 minute okay so 1 minute equals to 60 seconds some watches and clocks have the second hand it is thinner and longer than the hour and minute hands now if you have noticed uh, watches that you may have or your elders have okay uh, around their wrist okay or on the wall there is uh, one more hand in a clock okay which is thinner than both the hour hand and the minute hand and it is longer than both of them okay now it moves very fast and covers one full circle across the clock face in 60 seconds or 1 minute to read time we divide the clock into two halves one part is from 12 to 6 and the other part is from 6 to 12 now if you look at the diagram which is given beside over here okay you can see one half is divided from 12 to 6 and the other half is divided from 6 to 12 okay in the given figure the dotted line divides the clock into two halves okay look at the dotted line over here in this figure okay this is the dotted line and this halves are divided okay this is the first half and this is the this part is the second half okay now here are some points you should know okay when the minute hand is on the right side of the dotted line this is the right side okay we read the time as minutes past a given hour okay i will explain this uh point again below okay right now just know that when the minute hand is on the right hand side of the dotted line we read the time as minutes past a given hour okay now the second point over here is when the minute hand is on the left side of the dotted line we read the time as minutes to the next hour okay so for the first point which is which reads when the minute hand is on the right side of the dotted line we read the time as minutes past a given hour okay for that here look at this the minute hand is on the right hand side okay so we say 11 past 20 okay 5 10 15 20 okay given hour is here 11 thus hours hand is towards 11 so we say 11 pass 20 now second point when the minute hand is on the left side of the dotted line we read the time as minutes to the next hour let me see over here now you can see here in this figure okay the minutes hand is on the left hand side this is the right hand side and this one is the left hand side now we will read this time as 25 or oh sorry 20 minutes to 3 there is 20 minutes left to be 3 or clock okay now <coughs> here look at the given examples here the minute hand is at 1 look at the minute hand it's at 1 and the 
our hand has just passed the 4 mark. You can see the our hand. It has just passed the 4 mark. Now, 1 into 5 is equal to 5 minutes. You can either say in this way or you can just remember or memorize that every gap represents 5 minutes. These gaps represent 5 minutes. Okay. So the time is 4.05 or 4.05 or 5 minutes past 4. Okay. Now another figure. Look at the next figure. Okay. Here you can see the minute hand is at 4 and the hour hand has just passed 11. The minute hand is at 4 and the hour hand has just passed 11 mark. Now you can either multiply 4 by 5 and you will get 20 minutes. Okay. Or again I have said as I have said each gap between the numbers represents 5 minutes. You can count them out. 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay. So the time is 11 dot 20 or 20 minutes past 11 okay I, either you can say 11 past 20 or that will be wrong sorry you can say 20 minutes past 11 okay now the third figure look at the third figure okay you can see over here again the minute has hand is at 7 and the hour hand has passed two okay and is about to reach three look at the hour hand carefully it has passed two and it is about to reach three okay the minute hand is now on left side of the dotted line you can see this is the dotted line that we had just learned about above here okay so it is on the left hand side of the dotted line so first you will calculate the minutes now the minutes hand is at 7 so 7 into 5 is equal to 35 minutes so the time is 235 or 35 past 2 35 minutes past 2 okay now to the next page the other way of reading this time is to count backwards from 12 to the mark where the minute hand is. Then multiply the number of marks counted backwards by 5. Here there are 5 marks counted backwards. 5 into 5 is equal to 25 minutes. Now what these lines are saying here, look at it. You can even count backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 4 major numbers or lines over here. So you can multiply it by 5. 5 5 is 25. Now how will, how will you read this? So we can say the time is 25 minutes to 3. There is 25 minutes left to be 3 o'clock. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes to 3 okay now <clears throat> the fourth diagram of figure you can say okay here you can read the minute hand is at 10 and the hour hand has passed 5 the minute hand is at 10 and the hour hand has passed 5 okay and is about to reach 6 now 10 into 5 is equal to 50 minutes 10 into 5 will be 50 minutes now 2 into 5 is equal to again 10 minutes okay either you count from here either you count uh, multiply the number with the <coughs> number where the minute hand is such as here 10 into 5 is equal to 50 minutes okay or you count backwards from 12 5 uh, 
sorry one number two number okay on the second number your minute hand has come so 2 into 5 is equal to 10 minutes now so the time is either you can say 550 okay or you can even say minutes past sorry or you can even say 50 minutes past 5 okay or 10 minutes to 60 or 10 minutes to so not 60 sorry to 6 that means 10 minutes is left to be 6 6 o'clock okay now here's the knowledge bank over here sand clock also known as hourglass is a device that uses sand falling from an upper container to a lower container to measure time okay now uh, do this exercise at home okay draw the hour and minute hands to show the given time the time has been already given here either it's written in words or given uh, in figures okay with digits representing representing the time okay you draw you have to draw the hour and minute hands as you had done in the earlier class okay in the next question write the time down in the clock in two ways again here you can write the time here in two ways okay either you can write nine in digits two dots 20 or you can say 20 minutes past nine 20 minutes has passed nine okay in the similar manner you can do this question okay